How's it going guys? Welcome to the channel Pete's Carport or welcome back to those of you who are subscribed. So in front of me is my 99 Ford Contour SVT, a pretty rare car and it is in tropical green and it is for sale. So it's finally time for me to move on from this amazing car. And unfortunately for me, I just don't have the space or the time to finish things off on this that I wanna do. And uh, I wanna see it go in the hands of somebody who's gonna enjoy it, who's gonna drive it and really appreciate it for what it is. I am asking $4,600. The best way to get a hold of me is through Instagram. I'll put it on the screen, but it's Pete's Carport at Instagram. Go ahead and follow me and send me a message if you're interested, and I will get back to you right away. With that said, let's talk about all the good things about this car and some of the things that might need to be finished off if you are interested. So just recently, I installed a brand new clutch, a brand new clutch kit actually, a brand new flywheel, and a brand new slave cylinder. I had a small leak in my slave cylinder, and I had to kind of decide what I was gonna do. And at that time, I was like, I'm keeping this car. It is such a fun car. So I invested the money in that, and I've only put maybe 50 miles on it since doing that and now I decided it's time to move on so you are gonna have a brand new clutch in this car that is gonna last for a very long time which is great now prior to doing that work alone I put some brand new Firehawk uh, Firestone tires on here and these tires are amazing they're very sticky so you've got a brand new set of about $800 tires I went ahead and did the lifetime alignment this car is driving straight as an arrow so that was another couple hundred dollars there and then if you guys uh, are part of the channel or you saw the video, I did do uh, lowering springs, H&R lowering springs on here, but I will include the original spring in case you wanna go back to the stock height. And then I went ahead and did Moog control arms up front and did a couple other minor things on the suspension. I went ahead and put an intake in this. I think it's a weapon R and I'll show you that when I pop the hood, but I also have the stock intake box to put back in. And then I went and put a mild exhaust on this and uh, I do have the catalytic converter that we removed along that line uh, that you can put back in. So that's a secondary cap. There's no check engine lights on this car. The AC works, the heat works, and it's just a beautiful running car. In fact, it drives better than some of the new cars that I've driven out there. So I love this car. Some of the things that do need to be done, as you can see here, these side moldings are taken off and I was gonna have them repainted. I just never got around to it, but I do have those inside the car. And moving along here, for those of you who have seen my past videos, and I'll link all of those, there was some clear coat peeling along here and I tried to fix it up here. And as you can see, the paint's not a perfect match. It looks pretty good, but that is one of the things on this car that will need to be fixed to make it perfect. Moving along, you can see the body is in very good shape. The rest of the paint is in very good shape. And you can see here, there are some Gibson exhaust tips on there. I love those. I'll rev the car for you guys to hear that. And there are some aftermarket rims on here. And it's got these aftermarket chrome SVT rims that were put on prior to my ownership. So we move along here and you'll see there is some clear coat peeling along here that if you want it to look perfect, you will have to fix up and a little bit more along this door. So when we move up front here, what I was trying to do, there was a small spot that I needed to fix up here that was bubbling up a little bit. I did the body work and tried to hit it with some color match paint. Now the car had been repainted and the color match paint that I picked up was a slightly different color. So unfortunately there is a spot there. And then I went ahead and tried to repaint up the bumper with that same color matching paint. So it is a slightly different color. It came out pretty good in all honesty. It doesn't look bad. But if you want this car to be perfect, I would say you repaint the bumper, the hood, and kind of touch up some of those clear coat paint peeling. Now, outside of that, the interior, let's go ahead and open up the car here. The interior is in very good condition. It's a tan leather. You can see here, just some normal wear on the seat for the age. It's got the SVT floor mats. It's got an aftermarket radio Kenwood, which is pretty nice. I mean, it's nothing special, but it's pretty nice. You can see here, I'll show you guys the mileage. 130, 115. Dash is in pretty good condition here. No cracks or anything. Uh, they did something here and I'm not sure if they just pulled down the leather and kind of snapped it back in. There is a small crack along here. I'm just gonna show you all the small imperfections just so you're aware. Door panels are in great condition. Power windows work. Uh, sunroof has a little tiny bit of sagging there. Uh, and the sunroof motor uh, does need to be replaced. You can still use it. You just gotta push it up with your hand and push it back down when you wanna open it. So it does work currently. 
Uh, this back door, the window was disconnected inside from what I know by the owner. I never looked into it because I never roll these back windows down. And then I have another grill here. Here are those side moldings that I was talking about and see how they need to be repainted because of the little bit of peeling there. Uh, but the back seats are in really good condition. Ahead and shut that. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and rev the engine up and we'll take a look at that too. And let's go ahead and take a look at the engine, which is real nice and clean, runs really nice. See here, there's that Weapon R intake that I put in. And like I said, I have the stock one to go back to. I really just did this for sound and just to kind of play around and have some fun. A real clean engine bay. All right, let's go ahead and jump inside. I'll go ahead and just drive it down the road real quick and we'll come back that way you can guys get an idea of how it sounds. All right, so as you would expect, this car is not that fast for current standards, but man, back in the day, this car was pretty fast. And let me tell you, it's still pretty quick. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of shift through some of the gears, just take it down the road and come back so you guys can get an idea of how it sounds with open throttle and kind of how it drives. So let's go ahead. guys that about sums it up and like i said if you're interested in getting this car make sure you hit me up on instagram at pete's carport and i'll get back to you as soon as i can you guys have an awesome day a blessed week and i'll catch you on the next video